Excavations underway to Manhattan's historic Hudson Hotel, but not everyone is thrilled about it. That's right. Tenants living inside that hotel say the ongoing construction is making their lives a nightmare. Fox News' Arthur Chien has more from Hell's Kitchen. There were mice, and I'm not even ready to even figure out how to clean that up. From mice droppings on beds to construction debris that fills the air, the once grand feeling of living in the historic Hudson Hotel on West 58th Street is gone. The building was sold to new owners CSC Co-Living in 2022, which has been converting the building into residential housing. But it's created what residents call a death trap. The tub was white. It's turning green. Here we go. Brown. Owen Lamb has lived here for nearly five decades. He won't use the water and has to wear a mask even when inside his own apartment. They demolished the building, the, my floor, while I was asleep in my room. I woke up in a cloud of dust. No way, I, I won't use the water. Tess Rabunovich echoes Owen. She's a mother of three. Her youngest is just one. And she's a school teacher, but can't work until she figures out care for her kids. His daycare is like where we live, which is supposed to be here. That makes it pretty complicated if I don't know where I'm going to be. Of the more than 800 rooms in this building, the current tenants tell us just over 30 of them are occupied, the vast majority of them elderly and rent-stabilized units, saying they don't have a choice but to live under these conditions. The building's owner, CSC, tells Fox 5 hurdles they've run into with the city's buildings department and housing preservation and development is a reason for the delay and why tenants are living in bad conditions. But the HPD disagrees telling Fox 5 CSC is responsible for maintaining safe conditions in their building and finds the owners likely harass tenants like Tess and Owen. HPD also details what CSC has to do to ensure safe conditions, which both HPD and DOB tell Fox 5 it's looking into. They've destroyed our lives. So here we go. With everything that's happened, Owen and Tess say they just want their lives back. Yeah, On the west side, Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.